Hey, we're the Morses and we're going mobile. We're moving out of this house in the burbs and we're going to start taking the back roads in our new RV. Life is going to be a little interesting packing all six of us inside here, but we are ready for the challenge. On this episode, we show you part one of us preparing to go mobile. It turns out going from the burbs to the back roads is kind of a lot of work but it doesn't come without some fun when my dad finds some pretty cool stuff cleaning out our safe. And we just couldn't help but give my three-year-old brother, Cohen, some screen time. He's pretty cute. All right, Morses are preparing to go mobile here. Lots of commotion in the Morse household. We got Cohen down here getting his play on. Say, what's up? Say, what's up? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, today I'm rocking one of my favorite, all-time favorite shirts. You can see it. It's probably backwards. I don't know how it shows up on video, but it says, I love gluten. That's in honor of my gluten-free wife. My gluten-free wife right here. Looking beautiful. Jaden getting her breakfast on. What do we got today, Jace? Granola with fruit. She's the only healthy person in our family. Right? Oh, hey, bro. Chill out. You're on camera, dog. These two are making smoothies. So that's a disaster with no parental supervision. Hey, what are you drinking? What are you? Smoothie. It's a smoothie? What? No, don't tip it. It's going to spill. What's a smoothie? I taste it. You let me taste it. Mmm. Peanut butter smoothie? Is that your favorite? Okay, go back to the kitchen, little homie. You got your, what do you got in your hand? You doing some work with dad today? What is that, your saw? Yeah. Turn it on, let's see if it works. Whoa, look at that thing. Okay, go start cutting our house down, dude. Look at this garage, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's kind of overwhelming, um, but we got to get all this stuff cleared out, boxed up. We're our parents, both of our parents, Amber and I's parents, are being super awesome about letting us store some stuff there while we're gone. Okay guys, so I'm going through the old gun safe uh, where we keep just a lot of random stuff. And uh, I gotta show you a couple things that I've come across and I'm not gonna tell Amber, and I don't know why I'm whispering because I'm the only one out here, but I'm not gonna tell Amber uh, that I'm showing you this. So she's gonna see this in uh, this video when I post it on YouTube, so. Uh, yeah, this could get interesting. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that curly hair. Wait, there's more. There's more. This is like a photo slideshow, only on a video that I'm just scrambling some pictures around. She's really coming to her own, guys. She's really coming to her own. I tell her she's like a fine wine. She just gets better with age. This is our senior prom. We went to each other's prom. When we were seniors in high school, look at that skinny face with no facial hair. And her, she looks exactly the same, right? You can tell her in the comments, I know. I've aged, I've gotten gray hair, she looks the same, rub it in. Okay, whatever. But wait, there's more. Look at wedding day. Yep, first look, first glance right here. I set that roses down the aisle here for her to pick up. Come to her prince. Okay, we were 20 years old, guys, on this day that we got married. But wait, I gotta show you how she came in. Her dad walked her in on a horse. Gotta have that fairy tale wedding. It was so weird. I wanted her, she said, I wanna walk in on a horse. And I said, okay, then I wanna ride in on a four wheeler. And she's like, no. And we had a little bit of an argument about that. So, and there's my dad. I've got gotta wear the Harley Davidson hat with his tuxedo, dork. All right, here we are. Wait, there's one more thing that's really awkward about this. Oh, what are we doing right here? What are we doing? Well, let me tell you. She wanted to release doves at our wedding, guys. That fairy tale wedding. What's a fairy tale wedding without releasing doves? Oh, look at that. Get it, son. Get it. Oh, what's up, OJ Simpson? To my pal, Brandon. OJ Simpson, when he was playing for Buffalo. What a guy, right? What a guy. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the next thing here is a Walmart ad. And you might say, why are you showing us an old Walmart ad from July 31st, 
2002. Fun fact, that's the year I graduated from high school. Let's just flip through this here ad and we'll see why I'm showing this to you guys. Guys, I have a career, and past career, that you don't know about because for 1996, back in 2002, you could have gotten this sweet eSport backpack that I was modeling. Okay, let's go to the next page. Oh man, these were my good old days. Oh, guys, who remembers, wait for it, wait for it. Who remembers Bugle Boy? Hello, what's my name? What's my name? Look at those baggy jeans. Hey, Jaden, my daughter, when you're watching this, I need you to understand that this is what style is all about, okay? All your weird clothes you wear today ain't got nothing on a $15.77 pair of Bugle Boy jeans. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Cohen wants to show y'all something. Cohen, what did you build? Cohen built this all by himself while we're out here cleaning the garage. Look at him. Okay, he's gonna send it. Oh, dude, you sent it too fast. Do it again, do it again. Just let it go nice and slow. Hold on, let me straighten it out for you. Okay, he's gonna jump this. Okay, whenever you're ready, go. Good job, thumbs up, thumbs up. Hey vlog, it's Jaden and Brandon. And What's right up? now we are unloading his truck full of stuff and we're putting it up there, storing it at the grandparents' house and we're getting ready to leave. We're wrapping the Rock Harbor graphic sweatshirt made by Chris Easley, we oh, love him. Oh, this graphic sweatshirt. <laughs> Chris made sweatshirt. See you later. Peace, R.I.P. the snowboards, because we will be indeed snowboarding it this winter, oh, won't rip, we? rip snowboards. What is your game? <laughs> it says, rip me, rip my life. I can't snowboard this winter because we're gonna be snowbirds. Oh goodness. I want everyone yeah, to down. sympathize with me for a second. Imagine being a teenager and having your parents act like that. Sympathize with me, guys. Sympathize. This king right there, his name's Papa Dan. King? He's how tall? Four eleven. Five two? Ten feet. No, he's short. <laughs> and and he eats well. <laughs> and this is Papa Dan. And he this loves is, Crocs. This is Amber's dad, and he is the king of this garage right here that he's letting us put our stuff in. But I just want to let everyone know, okay. sometimes it can be difficult living with this man right here because all he does is makes fun of the teenage slang. Okay, so when they say you can put one rack in their garage, this is what you do. You go up. Joke's on them! Okay, I worked out a little deal with my parents. Obviously, we have a lot of stuff we got to store while we're gone that we have to move out of our house. My dad's back here. Hey, Dad. Say hi, Charlie. Oh, your, your name's Charlie. Good ball. So uh, the little trade deal I worked out, just so you guys know how we do this around here, is free storage space at the Morse Fam Farm in Weezer, Idaho, for me taking all the junk they've been storing for years. They have no idea what's even in these boxes. Mostly just empty boxes. Old people save stuff, you know? I mean, you guys know how you all are. And uh, so I'm taking all this to the dump to clear out space for all the stuff we gotta leave behind for the year. <laughs> what do they call these? Yeah. We got some VHS. We got some quality VHS here. What do we got? What do they say? Um, Water Boy Legal Lethal Weapon 4. Good Where'd stuff. you get all this junk? Stuff, hey, we also wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta show you guys this. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, that's my mom, Karen. Hi. Hi. Um, so look at this, guys. Hudson and I, look what we found. Just tell them, Hudson, what is it? Um, uh, Atari? We've got an Atari. Original OG 800 XL Atari. Where's that? Going to the highest bidder. Cast your cast your bids, cast your bids in the comments. Oh, we got the Apple II GS 1987 edition. Come on now. Keyboard. Cast your bids in the comments. Going to the highest bidder, and uh, that's what we're doing. So we're moving some stuff, and then we're heading back home. My dad wants me to tell you his address here in Weezer. He's one of those old timers. What's your social, Dad? I don't know, but I got a lot of shotguns. <laughs> <laughs>